Big deal, and it is from Kansas City State Company. You know them, you love them, and you can always count on them to give you delicious meat. And boy, do we have something special for you tonight. Your choice of your beef tenderloin tips, you're getting four one-pound bags, so four one-pound bags of beef tenderloin tips, so that would be four pounds for $69.95, or you can bring home those tenderloin tips, four pounds, as well as the medallions. Now, the medallions are about two ounces a piece, and you're getting 16 of them. So once more, your choice, four bags of the one-pound beef tenderloin tips, or you can have the best of both worlds, the tenderloin tips, as well as 16 two-ounce medallions. Um, you can also lock in auto delivery to make sure you never run out getting a shipment every 90 days for up to one year. We are talking about melt-in-your-mouth deliciousness and you're saving over $20 here um, by getting that larger size. I want to point that out. Um, why don't we invite Ralph in right now and just get down to business? I don't want to make you wait any longer. Hello, my friend. Oh. Great to see you. Yeah, nice to see you, Stacy. Again, how are you? Good. I Hi, am so good. I'm so excited about this big deal. Yeah, you know, I am too. And, you know, there's a reason for that is because this is, has been for years one of our most popular items because this is filet mignon. Now, it says tenderloin, but that means filet mignon. Let's be clear on that. Now, we haven't had these for over, almost a year now on air because, Stacy, they're almost impossible these days to get because they come from the tips of that filet mignon tenderloin and then right next to those center-cut filet mignons. The good news is this is what we call harvest time at Kansas City State Company, our peak season that we're cutting those center cut filet mignons for those big time steakhouses and resorts. The good news is for our foodies right now, they get the tips and medallions, which are far more versatile, far more approachable and let and just tender and, and just beefy and aged, by the way. So that's why I'm excited. Yes. Let, let's talk about the tenderloin tips first. Okay. Let me uh, grab some on my board. So um, first of all, let me s get a couple here. So here's one, okay? Now, you see that they are mismatched. I'm going to just actually show everybody what they're getting. So they okay. could range from size, just so we're clear, from literally sometimes three, three and a half ounces, maybe one ounce, maybe two ounces. You don't know, but it's still filet mignon, and it's still cut like butter, just like, I mean, look at that, right? No gristle, no fat. They're super tender. And you know what, Stacey, what I love about these tips is you can use them for anything on top of a salad, shish kebab, <sighs> tacos, n you name it. And again, like I said, like this one, he's huge, right? And I just, yes. you just can cut them. It's like baby, little baby filet mignons. And, you know, especially with kids, like I know you have kids, I have kids. Yeah. These are already kind of cut for you. So if you just like make a couple cuts, look at that. Now you got three pieces so for the little guys and gosh. gals. And they're, oh yeah, I'm like, there's no effort here whatsoever. Because again, this is filet mignon. It just happens to be, and I'll, t I'll talk to you about this in a second. It comes from the, the beef tenderloin, which is about this big. Now it starts just like this. And that's where those big expensive center cut filet mignons are, right? Yeah. But as you go down the line, it gets smaller and smaller and then just kind of like stops like that. That's where those tips are. And you only get maybe two or three on each end. And then the medallions, which we'll show you in a second, are right next door to those center cut filet mignons. And they're more, I would say, um, like they're two ounces. So they're more uniform in size. So uh -huh. that's more like center of the plate. Um, if you're not that adventurous in the kitchen, you know, two of these, and I'll show you right here. Oh, this is I mean, a great two, image, Ralph. Do you see you like this? That? Yeah, you can yeah, see the difference. Yeah, I love that. So you can see the difference in the cuts. Yeah, so, so each of those piles there is uh, four pounds, right? One pound each of the flake tips. And then right below that, if you notice, each package of those medallions is basically like getting an eight ounce filet mignon center cut, but they're already now divided into two ounces. So if you want, you want a four ounce filet, just take two of those, put them on the plate, okay? 
So that's what I love about them. And these are the, fla uh, the medallions. So again, super tender. I just cut them like butter. I went, a little, I went a little like medium well on these because I know our foodie friends prefer medium well. Uh -huh. But I mean, again, you see how tender these are, right? I mean, that is, Melt and even at medium. Melt in your mouth. I can't yeah, believe and look at, that. Yeah, and look how tender they are, even at medium well, right? Because again, this is filet mignon. It's just a little bit more approachable and easier to cook, right? I mean, I don't know about you, but I know there's a lot of people that really aren't comfortable um, cooking a big filet mignon, Yeah, because right? you're because afraid that you're going to mess it up. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, I paid so much money for this and I don't want to ruin it. You're always like a little timid because you don't want to ruin yeah. the meat. Right, so now let's let's go, let's just say center of the plate, right, Stace? So let's just go like this. I have a little little broccoli, li one of our potatoes in here, just like that. I'm gonna put that on the, let's see if we can see. Okay, yeah, wow, that's a good shot. So now let's just say I want a four ounce filet mignon. I take two of those medallions and oh. now, they're literally they cook maybe one or two minutes on each side in the air fryer, on your grill, in your pan, and now, Stace, I'm just going to go in a little bit of olive oil, right, to just to dress mm -hmm. those up, and a little bit of that steak seasoning that comes with it. Now, I have a four-ounce filet mignon. Now, what if we just want to go one more and make it a six-ounce filet mignon just like that, and now I feel like we've given you the confidence to make filet mignon because you go to that steakhouse, you order the filet mignon, and it's kind of a treat, right? Yeah. Well, what about doing this at your house and not being – you know, timid or, or, you know, get uh, upset about now I got to cook this and it's got to be perfect. These fillets and these tips are easy, right? And they're so approachable. Um, yeah, they and, are. Most of our yeah. friends are picking up the tenderloin tips and the medallions. I wanted to ask, uh, Ralph, for yeah. our friends that are new to the Kansas City State Company, how do these arrive? Sure. How are okay. they packaged? So, so let's start with the tips. So this is one pound. They come frozen, okay? They're gonna arrive frozen at your at your house. Put them in the freezer, and when you're ready to go, just put them in cold water for like 30 or 40 minutes, and they're done. When you take them out of the package, make sure you dry them really well because you don't want any moisture on them. So however you're cooking these, you want to get a good sear on them, right? And that's how you get a good sear. Now, the um, medallions come just like this, again, frozen, and you get one, two, three, four. So that is equivalent to an eight ounce center cut filet mignon, but again, much more approachable. And like I said before, we haven't had these on for almost a year, Stacy. okay? And these used to be our most popular item, but they're beginning to be tough to get. So again, right now is what we call our peak season. We're cutting all those center cut filet mignons, but our foodie friends benefit from that because they're getting the medallions, they're getting the tips, and it's much more approachable and fun, by the way. Like right now, how about we do a little salad? Are you ready? I am okay. so ready. I want to point out that this is a great opportunity to experience this delicious meat to really just show out on Father's Day um, when you're, uh, you're, you're at the grill with your family or if you're looking for a Father's Day gift. Um, what a great time to pick this up at that big deal price because you're – you have a substantial savings here. You're saving over $20. And as Ralph was just telling us, people have been waiting for over a year to get these back in stock so that they can have them in their homes. So now is the time to just decide which ones do you want to try. You can cook both varieties confidently, as Ralph just told you, that you can. So your choice of either the four one-pound packages of the beef tenderloin tips or you can get the tips as well as 16 of those two ounce medallions. All right, let's talk about that salad because I love that you're giving us ideas on how we're gonna yeah. use this meat to make a beautiful meal for our family and friends. That's right, and easy. Let's always stay easy. Let's yes. not get too complicated. So again, on the board, we have a little bit of nice tomatoes, onions. Simple, right? We could do that, right? Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in just a little olive oil. Always, if you're doing layers of food, always go like each, season each layer, right? So now that's the salad. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of those tips on there, right? Cause yeah. I'm going family style, Stacey. I'm gonna put this at the center of the table and I'm gonna let everyone kind of just grab what they want, just oh, like that. Yes. So now I put about, now you're wondering how many come in a package of the tips? 14 to 16. So I used about a quarter of the bag there. And now what I want to do is I want to kind of go 
and just use some really nice aged balsamic just like that. Oh, that is and like again, summer fresh, the epitome of summer, right? And a little olive oil. And, we, and, and that's how easy it is. Look at that. And again, that's those beautiful. are those chips. You take 10 out and you put them in the air fryer, get a nice sear on them, and that's it. So that's that, right? Wow, that looks so delicious. And you're right in terms of it being easy. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time. And I love what you said about like not being timid, not being afraid to finally cook delicious filet mignon at home. Right. Yeah, I mean, you nailed it. Like, again, you know, again, I always feel people say, well, like uh, a filet mignon, first of all, they're so expensive, right? Those big center cut ones. Yeah. I like this as the alternative to that because again, it's more inexpensive. But if you're new to Kansas City State Company or even QVC, this is such a great introduction, not only to our foodie world, but also to Kansas City State Company, because again, it's something that you pull out of the freezer and use for whatever you want. Here, I'm gonna make a sandwich, for example. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put in a couple of those filet tips, just like that, and put a little, um, I have some great uh, kind of pickled vegetables here that I just go oh, in, it's called Jaranera from Chicago, right? And look at that <laughs> sandwich, right? And then, of course, we got to put our seasoning in there. My producer so, again, got excited. <laughs> oh, did he? he got Let's really excited in, in my ear, let Ralph. Me let me cut it in half for our friend producer. Here oh, we go. Oh, my gosh. Alan okay. loves and it. Yes. You liking it? That See, now is, that's simple. Oh, my gosh. That's a filet mignon sandwich. And I want to add one more thing, because I know we're closing. But so when I was cooking these, the whole deal that you're, we're presenting here, the uh, four pounds and the medallions, mm -hmm. I basically could fill up my grill, my Weber grill, twice, meaning the surface area. So if you're having a party, think about putting everything on the grill, just people like coming up and just grabbing a little filet mignon. I mean, hey, right, filet mignon, big deal, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. This ship's May 15th. What a great Father's Day gift. I'm telling you, any man in your life, whether it's your husband, your dad, or your granddad, they're gonna be over the moon to get these at home. Your item number once more, M91575, your choice of the tenderloin tips, or the tips, and those medallions. Great to work with you again, Ralph. You too, Stacy. See you soon. See you later. Bye, guys. All right, I hope that you will grab a snack a little beverage and come on back because we are gonna go shopping together for home decor. Everything is on clearance. A full hour after the break, all right? I'll see you in a minute.